Okay. We're going to go over the basic preventative ankle shape job for our athletes here at BGSU. First, we want to make sure that the ankle is in 90 degrees. We use heel and lace pads to protect the anterior and posterior of the ankle. We use pre-wrap. I started over the heel and lace pads to hold the heel and lace pads on. I like to secure the midfoot with my pre-wrap. Close around the heel and go up to the base of the calf. While you're practicing your tape jobs, refrain from using the stretch tape. It's a little bit more expensive and it'll be a cost preventative measure for us. But when you tape an actual athlete, we'd like for you to use some stretch tape to get compression and adhesion around the top of the, uh, of the ankle tape job. Make sure that the stretch tape sticks to the skin. As much as your athlete may not like it, I don't care. So there we have the, the base for our tape job, and we'll do three stirrups. Pulling medial and lateral, and overlapping so that we can increase surface area to prevent the most common ankle sprain, which is the inversion sprain. And then I will typically put a couple of closure strips around the top just to make sure that the stirrups don't fall off and then do a couple of horseshoes around the back side one two and three then i'll begin a, a figure of eight i start on the medial malleolus work my way around the outside aspect of the ankle and then back over and finish where I started. And then I'll do a closure strip around the midfoot just to give myself an anchor at the midfoot. Then I'll do my heel locks. I always start just above the joint on the anterior aspect of the ankle. I work around and behind the joint, up under the heel, back up and through for one side and then my heel locks are continuous so I work my way back around the front side put the inside of the ankle and then back up to where I started and around and then I'll just do one more continuous heel lock all the way around and close things off around the middle of the ankle and then do one more closure strip around the midfoot. And that should be your base ankle tape job at BGSU. The heel lock, again, I like to start on the anterior surface of the joint, just above the joint. I always start and I angle in towards the medial aspect of the ankle. I duck behind into the outside of the heel, pulling snugly to secure it. I end up back where I started. And I do a continuous heel lock, so from there I go around and then repeat the, repeat the motion, hooking the medial aspect of the ankle and coming back up again to where I started and securing the tape. That's one continuous heel lock. So again, doing the heel lock, I like to start on the anterior surface of the joint, just above the joint. I pull my tape down into the medial aspect, hooking around the back of the ankle and around the lateral side and back up to where I began. I like to do a, a continuous heel lock. So from there, I go around and repeat the process on the other side, going around the outside and hooking the medial side of the ankle and back up to where I finished, and around. And that's a heel lock. So for the figure of eight, again, make sure that the ankle is at 90 degrees. I always start with my tape end right over the medial malleolus, and I try and angle my tape inward towards the arch instead of going straight down. 
I find that if I go straight down, it's harder to get the angle that I need. So I'll angle mine in just a little bit. I come back over around the top to where I started and around the ankle to complete my figure of eight. So to complete my figure of eight, I always start on the medial malleolus. I angle my tape inward towards the arch. I go around the outside and across the anterior aspect of the angle, right back to where I started. I go around the ankle once, and then back to my beginning point. 